Today I want to discuss as to whether you should let a headhunter negotiate salary. And it's a little bit more complex than either a simple yes or no. Like for instance, if you feel that you are smarter and more knowledgeable than your headhunter, you should definitively be involved in the process. However, if you trust the recruiting firm with whom you're working with, um, you don't want to put it all in their hands. However, you do want to collaborate. Uh, let me give you two examples. There's those contingency recruiters who get paid more the more you make. And that sounds amazing because the more you make, you know, it's sort of like a partnership. Not really. Because you know what? Some of them will inflate salary to when the actual employer doesn't want to hire you. I've seen it time and time again when, a, when an applicant is worth around 50 on the market and the recruiter thinking they're slick tries to pump it up to 70, losing the job. So I want you to be careful when you know, determining how much you're worth and how much this individual is asking for because it's no different than buying an apartment. You sell the apartment for more, you make more commission. With a retained headhunter, and we are pretty much retained headhunters, so maybe I'm a little bit partial, but what we have, I guess, the ability to do is you know, not get paid more or less depending on their salary, but try to make it where it's fair for all, third, for all three parties. Because if you start a job and you're upset about your salary, how well could you do? And really, it's longevity in our career. And pay is a big thing and a big factor. And you want to make sure that you feel appreciated.